Hi guys, my name is Rick. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is part two of the Damascus Redemption series, and it's all about trying to come up with the best process, the, the essential steps that produce consistent, repeatable results uh, when forge welding uh, Damascus steel. If you haven't seen part one, I'd encourage you to do so. And then today, part two, we're going to take a look at those results uh, from part one, see what we learned, and then think about how we're going to go forward in part three. So let's get started. Okay, guys, here's uh, all the various billets. Uh, these are the three billets that were put together uh, in the first video. Uh, this one I mentioned before, this was one of the very first billets I put together. I didn't videotape it, but this was the one that I left in the fire too long and created a nice uh, hunk of uh, volcanic, uh, <laughs> volcanic charcoal. Uh, we'll set that one aside, not talk about that one, but here were the three billets uh, produced uh, in the last video. Now, at that time, I claimed victory because I thought, you know, everything looked good, felt good. Uh, after I was after I was done, but as I got back in the shop, it started to started to uh, polish these up, grind them up, sand them up. Um, I noticed there were some gaps, significant gaps, gaps in this one, which then, as I picked at it, the whole the whole billet delaminated. Then I looked at uh, these two, and despite not complete delamination, but there were some spots. There's one here, here and one on the other side where there's gaps hard to see with a camera uh, but uh, and if you look at it really carefully you can just see where it doesn't you can tell the layers aren't aren't welded together this one was the best one i didn't have any gaps on this side but as i looked at the various layers over here i could tell there's two spots where uh, it didn't catch in terms of the weld so i took a step back really thought through what might have gone wrong, re-looked at the video, and, and I think that one of the issues was I never used the power hammer to help set these welds. It was all done by hand, hand hammering these, uh, these billets. And, uh, and I think that was an issue, or, or it wasn't helping me. Um, and so I decided to go off, make up another billet using the all the same processes that I used before, but with one difference, and that's using the power hammer. And so I did, went off and did that, and sure enough, here's the, the fifth billet, and uh, I don't see any gaps, no small little cracks. All I see is one solid piece of, uh, in this case, eight layer, nine layer Damascus. So I'm, uh, I'm excited about that. Now, like I said before at the beginning, I'm really looking for something that's consistent and repeatable process. So what I am going to do is I'm going to do a sixth billet. And that billet, I'm going to follow these, you know, seven steps. All right, so here are the steps that I came up with. Uh, you know, step one is sand each one, shiny clean. Wipe it down with acetone each layer. Then you got to tack weld. Uh, the billet, all four corners and in the middle. And then, uh, you know, you flux the billet. I did that. I used two mule uh, borax. Then uh, you got to heat the billet up to a smoldering heat <laughs> without any sparks or melting the billet. Um, and then, of course, uh, as I mentioned, I'll do two sets of welds using a hand hammer, but then uh, I'll finish up with three sets of uh, welds with the power hammer so those are the i think the essential steps at this point and so uh, next step is to go ahead and see if i can't repeat those steps and with a with a six billet and uh, and go from there the other thing i'm going to try to do too is to see take these uh, billets and see if i can't repair them meaning if i if i get these up to smoldering heat with uh, some borax flux, am I able to take the power hammer and fix those areas of uh, what, what looked to be areas that never, just never caught? All right, so let's get started.
Okay guys, I uh, came back into the shop here with these billets and I've sanded them, grinded them all down and uh, checked them all over. And uh, I, if you recall, uh, these were the two billets we were trying to uh, fix originally because they had some, some, some minor gaps. And uh, we used the power hammer for that. And uh, I tell you, I've looked at them both uh, very carefully, both sides, and I can't see any gaps. So hopefully we fixed that problem. They could come back to haunt us later. I don't know. Maybe they could always open up again as you further work these billets. But, um, but so far, so good. They, they look like uh, uh, we fixed uh, those issues. Uh, the other one was that we were, if you recall, we were going to take and verify that these seven steps were the right steps. And uh, so we took another stab at uh, another billet. And I looked over this and I can't find anything wrong with it. It looks like one solid piece, no cracks, no delaminations, nothing. So uh, I claim victory on that. Uh, and that's good news because we have that billet and uh, this billet that we've used before. We've done this twice now using these seven steps. And uh, overall, everything uh, turned out really right. So I'm going to inscribe these uh, into the wall of my forge and uh, and we'll go from there and I always reference them and follow that procedure if I'm going to do some uh, Damascus. Okay guys well the next step is to uh, to start to combine these billets and further work them up to about a hundred layers of Damascus and uh, that'll be happening in uh, in part three. So stay tuned for that and uh, we'll be back again here soon. Thanks guys.